If you're an avid gamer, you're going to need a serious headset to give you a competitive advantage and to improve your overall gaming experience. The SteelSeries Arctis 7X costs around $150 and it gives you an impressive sound, a comfortable fit, and a lossless low latency connection. There's a lot to like here, but can it really deliver? And when you get it, what should you expect? The SteelSeries Arctis 7X is a wireless headset with green highlights to match the Xbox aesthetic. It's made from a quality black plastic chassis and the frame is made from a robust but still lightweight aluminum, so I wouldn't be concerned about durability. I was impressed with how comfortable these are, even during longer sessions. The ear cups have an around the ear design and the SteelSeries signature plush air weave ear cushions. It also comes with a rubberized ski goggle style headband that doesn't put too much pressure on your head and its adjustable Velcro strap helps optimize the fit. The ear cups employ a breathable mesh that prevents overheating, and I thought that was a really nice touch. On the right ear, you get a chat mix dial for balancing in-game and mic audio, along with a power button that can easily double as a battery indicator, which illuminates green, yellow, or red based on how much juice is left. The left ear houses the headphone sharing port, a 3.5mm cable jack, and the headset volume rocker, a micro USB charging port, and the microphone mute button, as well as the retractable microphone itself. I really appreciated that they split the controls up, which makes the layout feel less confusing than some of their competitors, although I hate the power button placement as every time I tried to do anything on the right ear, I ended up shutting my headset off. You get a lossless, low latency, 2.4 gigahertz wireless transmitter that gives you a respectable range of up to 40 feet. It relies on a USB-C connection, which I like because it adds some versatility, and you can adapt it to your smartphone, tablet, or undocked a Nintendo Switch. You also get a USB-A adapter, which makes it compatible with nearly every platform, and the 3.5mm connection also gives you a wired option. It comes with a switch that lets you toggle between Xbox-specific connections and a USB mode that's also compatible with PlayStations, which gives it a lot more adaptability than the Arctis 7P. Unfortunately, unlike the Arctis 9, it lacks Bluetooth compatibility, but the dongle still provides a quick, seamless, and strong connection. I was impressed that SteelSeries has moderately improved the battery life from the Arctis 7. You get a long-lasting 24 hours of playtime that should be sufficient for any relatively long gaming sessions, and it's on par with the Razer Black Shark V2 Pro. Although, as always, this depends on your settings and usage. They also have a relatively quick charging time of around 3.6 hours, and I thought the auto power down feature was a really nice touch. It saves the battery by shutting the headset down after a pre-specified point of inactivity. You also get access to the Engine 3 software, which is an expansive interface that lets you customize your settings. With this, you can customize your EQ settings, adjust the dynamic range compression, and update the firmware. I like that you could save different preset configurations and customize the inactivity timeout of the auto power mode here. It even provides some preset options, including the performance, immersion, entertainment, or music modes, along with some microphone parameters that let you adjust side tone settings. Most importantly, Engine 3 allows me to enable the DTS-X2 7.1 surround sound audio, which adds detail to the soundscape and it delivers an immersive gaming experience. Overall, I thought the audio performance was a strength and it should work well with various gaming genres. The 40mm Neodynam drivers provide a frequency response range of 20Hz to 20kHz, which create a vibrant soundscape with strong voice work and audio reproduction. I was impressed by the sound imaging clarity and the positional accuracy, so sounds stood out and it was really easy to pick up on in-game auditory cues, which should be especially useful in first-person shooters. Unfortunately, music performance is only mediocre, and I found the weak bass response can make music sound a little bit cold, although the mid and treble response is really nice. I found that the clear-cast bi-directional microphone offers some ambient noise cancellation. It's responsive, clear, and it sounds nice overall, and it should be sufficient for most gamers, while professional streamers would definitely benefit from using a standalone microphone. So is the SteelSeries Arctis 7X worth the money? I would say so. The Razer Black Shark V2 Pro is also in this price range, and it gives you a comparable performance and battery life, but it lacks the wireless option for Xbox gamers. The Arctis 9X also offers a similar performance, along with a strong Bluetooth connection, but at a much higher price point. I would recommend the Arctis 7X because it delivers a vibrant and wide soundstage with the 7.1 surround sound. It has a strong wireless connection and a quality microphone, and it's more versatile than the otherwise identical 7P model. So for the money, I believe the Arctis 7X is a top option. But that's just my opinion. Let me know your guys' comments. For links to updated pricing on all of the items mentioned, check out the description. If you guys learned something or you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and you like short informative tech videos. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.